Very neat, everybody. So I wanted to kind of document my Lammas celebration. Um, I'm over at a friend's house. We kind of get together for different Sabbaths and such. And um, I wanted to share with you the oil blend that we just got done making. Um, we used orange peel, frankincense, and calendula petals. And um, our carrier oil is actually an olive oil because I forgot to bring over my grapeseed. Um, so we made our little oil here and it was really fun to do and as we go throughout this process um, I will be taking pictures and I'll film some different things um, and it'll just be a lot of fun so I'm really excited for you guys to see this and I hope you enjoy it. Bless me. Hi guys so I'm back and I'm actually in the room where we're going to be doing our uh, llamas ritual and um, I'm gonna show that to you in just a second but um, right now Kaylee is sweeping everything out. There Hello. she is. Say hi, Kaylee. <laughs> um, and uh, she's sweeping it all out. We're going to get it nice and clean in here and get all the negative energy out um, and just make sure that everything is set and ready to go for later. Um, so anyway, I'm going to turn the camera around and I'm going to show you guys like a quick overview of what it all looks like. So okay, guys, so this is the room where we're going to be doing our ritual. It's actually really nice. Um, it's just going to be me, Kaylee, there she is again, <laughs> and her husband, and they have a little one that um, kind of runs in and out and likes to be part of everything, and um, so he's just going to be kind of running back and forth. So this is their little altar table. Um, it's, it's actually kind of neat. It's got a little cupboard underneath, and there's all, all the tools and stuff that they could possibly need. Um, and then over here are the different things that I'm contrib contributing that I can't talk uh, to the ritual, different herbs. We made a llamas oil, um, all that fun stuff. So, um, yeah, just kind of want to show you guys what's going on. And, uh, yeah, I'll be keeping in touch with you guys. I'll be taking some pictures once we have everything set up. And, yeah, so I'll be talking to you soon, guys. See ya. So what exactly are you doing here, Kaylee? I'm getting ready to burn sage to clear the negativity. Okay. And there's Aiden, guys. <laughs> Hi, guys. I'm back again. So I'm getting ready to take um, my full moon water that I have here, and I'm going to actually sprinkle it around the room uh, just to kind of clear out the negative energy and neutralize everything and uh, really cleanse the entire space. Um, that's kind of our main focus right now. Really cleansing and cleaning out everything because I just feel like that's very, very, very important. So we're going to do that and I'll be right back with you. Stop, baby. Oh my gosh, guys, it smells so good in here right now. <laughs> Careful, Bubba. Okay guys, so the next thing we're going to do is we're going to um, kind of cleanse and consecrate Kaylee's new uh, altar cloth. Uh, she just got it from 13 Moons and it's always good to uh, cleanse those kinds of things because you don't know who's touched it, who made it, where it's been. There could be all kinds of negativity attached to it, so this is always a good step. So um, if you're interested in seeing how to do this, uh, just keep watching. Okay guys, so she's just going to pass it through the incense three times. And, you know, if you're doing this yourself at home, make sure that you keep your intent in mind that you really want the cloth to be cleansed and, and clean. Uh, next, she's going to take her full moon water 
and she's going to dip her fingers in three times and flick it onto the altar cloth again keeping in mind that she wants it to be clean and uh, ready for ritual use. And that's it guys, it's actually really simple. There's Nate in the background. Hi Nate! Hi. <laughs> that's Kaylee's husband. Um, so yeah, I'll be back with um, the altar setup. Um, I'm not going to film the actual ritual itself. I, I feel that that's a very sacred thing, um, but maybe... Hi later i can walk you guys kind of through what we did but i will not film the actual ritual so anyway guys i'll be back with you later see ya okay so here she is setting up the altar look at this cloth guys isn't that gorgeous i just absolutely love it <laughs> and of course we've got aiden here and he's he's always <laughs> very active with it the thing about ritual, guys, when we get together and do it, is it's always very um, light and fun, and um, we try not to hang too much on ceremony. It kind of gets to be a little bit stuffy, but... Okay, guys, so this is what the altar looks like all set up. It's actually gorgeous, and I'm so excited about it. So... Anyway, we're getting ready to start our ritual, and I will be talking to you guys afterwards, so stick around. Hey guys, so um, we just finished our ritual, and I feel so energized. It's actually kind of uh, weird. I felt pretty tired when we were doing um, Cake Snail, but there's something about closing down the circle and grounding and all that good stuff. I don't know, I just feel like really energized, like I could be awake for the rest of the night. Um, so anyway, it all went really, really well. It was a lot of fun. This, um, this was actually, I believe, the first Sabbath. Um, this is actually the first Sabbath that I have celebrated with um, Kaylee and her husband. Uh, we did a full moon ritual not like a, like a year ago or so together, and then this was the first time we could uh, get together again. So, anyway, we're going to try to make it a more uh, normal thing, I guess is what I want to say, um, to get together and do these rituals and such. But um, So, I'm actually going to um, get up here, and I kind of mapped out our ritual and wrote it down right here. So, um, I'm going to make a copy for... Kaylee and a copy for Nathan so, so they can put it into their Book of Shadows. Um, I think they each have their own uh, separate Book of Shadows that they use, but um, I even dated it. Um, it's, today is actually technically the day after Lamas, uh, but this was just the time that we could get together and do it, which as long as you celebrate it, it's fine. Um, <coughs> so as you can see, I mapped out, you know, all of the herbs, the, the crystals we use, the oils, uh, and then the little steps that we took. Anyway, um, we had a lot of fun. It was great times. It was great energy. And um, can't wait to do it again. So I hope you guys enjoyed this. It was a lot of fun. And um, yeah, I'll be talking to you guys soon. Blessed be.